Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh To our main mas main mas ini Our LLE 3032 Al-Ghazi Lecture Okay, we are from Group 4 and my name is Muhammad Hidayatullah Aiman bin Kamis My metric number is 2190759 And I 2190191919 Anira Fana binti Ani Sirafuddin and I to 190125, Kotrona da Binti Razailan. Lastly, I am 2190134, and we have his of director, Ben Astro. And today we want to introduce about the analysis the movie which is titled 12 Strong. Okay, the introduction and uh, the synopsis of the movie is basically this movie is a story about the Captain Mishness and who is in charge to lead the head of the dozen of green, green Barrett who the first army troops to set foot in Afghanistan after the 9-11 accident. So their mission is to enter the Afghanistan through the Uzbekistan with the help of the Uzbek warlord General Dustin who has his own reason for taking on the Taliban. So, together with the Dustin and his men, Nelson uh, and his team must capture the Afghan town named Bazaar Al Sharif, which is a Taliban stronghold. And, but despite their intensive training and boundaries, probably, they're going to have the navigate these unforgiving cranes which notoriously has destroyed empire force and priests. Okay, based on this story, we have observed and discussed about the problem. And problem that we identify identification is the issues, families, weapon and environment. So for the issues, we have trust issues, 9-11 accident issues and political issues. And for family, we have uh, bonding with uh, father and son, a lack of communication and misunderstanding with uh, with team. And the weapon, the comparison weapon uh, between US Army and the Taliban Army is not equilibrium, which is uh, US use horse and rifle, but the Taliban use a tank and mortar and rocket launchers. So the environment here is uh, a desert, which is at uh, located at Middle East. And that is our problem. The first problem identified is misunderstanding between Hal Spencer and his son. Hal is one of the 12 army in the mission taking over Mazar i Sharif. As a soldier, it is normal for them to go always away on a mission or exercise. His son think that he only focus on mission rather than the family. His son needs to understand that his father's job to make sure that he'll be better for his country. Next. Okay, the next problem identification and solution is the problem is uh, the US Army use outdated and insufficient weapon supplies. Uh, they have insufficient weapon supplies. So, for, the, for instance, the Northern troops do not use modern weapons unlike the Taliban troops. Uh, they use uh, although they use modern, uh, we can say that modern, uh, M4, M4 only, uh, but, the, uh, but the Taliban troops use more modern weapons such as BM-21 rocket launcher, uh, tanks, motor and AK-47. Okay, the solution for this Problem is, General Dostum need to enforce modern supplies and need to foresee the possible outcomes. Uh, okay, the next. Next problem is trust issues between General Dostum and Captain Mitch Nelson. Okay, the scene is General Dostum is very secretive to Captain Mitch Nelson about the Taliban suppliers. So, when we are uh, secretive to someone, uh, it will produce uh, trust issues and it will cause consequences. Okay, 
the solution is both of them must trust and cooperate with each other better uh, to make the mission progress smooth. Right. So next, we will move to the last problem identification and solution, which is the trust issue between Colonel John Mulholland and Captain Mitch Nelson. Uh, in the movie, Colonel does not trust Captain Nelson to carry out the mission due to his lack of uh, experience. Uh, so Captain Nelson was able to convince Colonel to give him a chance to lead this mission. And at the end of the movie, he was able to prove that they were able to win the battle in just three weeks. Next. Now, uh, we will look to the second question, which is leadership strategies used in executing the mission. So for this question, we use SWOT analysis as an analytical method. So we choose two main characters from this movie, General Abdul Rashid Dostum and Captain Mitch Nelson to represent this leadership technique. Uh, so in term in term of ability, General Dostum is an accomplished mission commander who can communicate in many languages, including English, Russian, Uzbek, and many more. He has a leg up on Captain Mitch Nelson when he comes to the communication. However, Captain Mitch Nelson is responsible and careful about everything he does. For example, Captain Nelson knew that the bomb he was about to drop will miss because he didn't get the exact coordinates during their first attack. General Dostum was a secretive man. So as a result, he didn't inform Captain Nelson about the Taliban's supply line. Um, for Captain Nelson's weakness, uh, he has zero experience with the mission. For, uh, so in terms of opportunities, General Dostum and Captain Nelson were both good strategies. They know what they're doing. So throughout the mission, Captain Nelson looked after his men with his all might attempting not to set separate them. Any? For the threats, uh, General Abdul Rashid Dostum prioritized the mission and do not care about his underlings. Meanwhile, Captain Mitch Nelson, he has high probability to make wrong decision as he is really new in the mission. Uh, in conclusion, every problem has its a solution and we are using the two step of problem solving identification as we need to use our intelligence to make sure our problem is solved thank you thank you, thank you.